resources. But in the course, you want to be more general. You want to talk about the big ideas, the big feelings, the big emotions. The I put these EBSs in my heart. You know that I got to shine. I'm coming from the dark. I feel this shit from the ground. Won't let you tear it apart. I took the top off the... What's good, peeps? It's your boy back with another video. And, uh, you know, I thought, why not talk about uh, going to the studio? You know, eventually... We all will have to go to a studio, you know, to record and, um, you know, get out of the bedroom. And so, you know, there is proper etiquette. There's proper ways to go about, you know, going to the studio for the first time or just going to the studio and optimizing your time. OK, we all know we're on the clock. You know, we're, we're paying for that time. And so the engineer in the studio, they benefit from us coming in and stumbling. They benefit from us not being prepared because that's the less work that they have to do if we're busy with our lyrics and, and all this other stuff. So rule number one is preparation. Um, you never, you never want to go to the studio if you're not ready. How do you know when you're ready? When you've completely mastered the material that you plan on recording. You don't go to the studio, you know, to to try to figure things out to try to see if this is going to work there to try to see if hmm, this is trash let me see if the engineer will fix it no you go to the studio when you're trying to bring what you're doing in the bedroom or you're trying to bring what you're doing at home to life you know the studio is going to provide that we're not signing the record labels where we have these big budgets to be in the studio 24 hours a day no usually we're, we're booking two to four to five hours and then we in and out. So we want to optimize that time by preparation, by knowing our lyrics, knowing our, you know, knowing our our way around the song, how we want the song to sound, you know, and then it is the engineer's job to kind of complete our vision. But he can't complete our vision if we don't even know what our vision is. So preparation is number one, you know, just plain and simple. Knowing your lyrics, knowing your songs, you know, so you're not spending an hour in a two hour session trying to get a line right, you know, you know what I'm saying, ah, oh, this line don't work. Let me change this line. And then, you know, you're wasting time doing that, you know. Another thing uh, about going to the studio is it is your work, it is your business, it is your project. So you cannot be afraid to speak up. You can not be afraid to ask questions. You cannot be afraid to talk to your engineer. That is what your engineer is for. An engineer is there to solve problems. An engineer is there to, you know, whatever problems you have in your mind or whatever problems you hear on the track, that is the engineer's job to fix those things. And if you kind of don't know what's going on, the best bet for you is to communicate with your engineer let them know hey man you know this is just me starting i know what i want i know what i like to hear i know what i want to sound like and you know here's kind of a reference you know i bought a couple songs of reference of kind of how, how i want to sound and then you'll help your engineer because the thing is is if you don't meet your engineer halfway they're just going to throw templates on your stuff they're just going to you know do whatever because you know you don't care about it so why should they care they're just going to put some stock stuff on there that's going to make it sound decent but you're not going to utilize you know what I'm saying? The engineer, if you're not, you know, for, for example, you know, like, uh, can you can you turn that delay up a little bit more, man? Uh, 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 I kind of want to fill in these spaces with a delay or, you know, can you make the 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 reverb bigger, you know, or or can you can you add a stutter right here? You know, a, a little stutter effect right here. Or can you chop and screw the uh, the chorus, you know, or can you you know, it's different things that the engineer is there for and that they can take your music to you know, the next level, but you just got to talk to them. You can't be scared. That's what they're there for. Um, another thing about going to the studio and, you know what I'm saying, optimizing your time is, you know, typically if you have, you know, if you have a lot of material you want to record, you know, you typically want to get a block session. That way, you know, if you're prepared, like I told you, then, you know, you got songs ready to go, songs memorized, songs ready to go, and then you can utilize that block period. You feel me? If you take a five-hour block session, you know, and you got six songs, you know, you know, ready, or five songs at least, you know, in that block, you can get those songs done, you know what I'm saying, versus, you know, you doing one here, and then you got to come back, you doing one here, you got to come back, you doing one here, you got to come back, you know, and that also goes back to the first thing about being prepared, because you figure if you go in for those two hours, you know, maybe 20, 
20, 30 minutes is going to be introduction time. 20, 30 minutes is going to be talking. 20, 30 minutes, the first 20, 30 minutes anyway, you know, before you actually get in there versus me. When I go to the studio, I, I, everything I need to talk about, I already text the engineer. I let them know what's up. I, I have my, my templates ready and everything. Have my presets ready. I'm ready to get in the booth. I'm ready to go, you know, because this is, is, you know, it's all about time. Another thing is it is your it, it is it is your project you know at the end of the day so whatever the engineer is doing whatever the engineer is doing that you might not like you know there there is no 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 yes or no you know what i'm saying the, the engineer is not there to 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 impede on your creative pro process you know if there's something you're not hearing if there's something that that you you know what i'm saying that doesn't sit right with you you got to be willing to co communicate with that guy you got to be willing to tell him what's on your mind or you know we're not putting our music into our own hands that's the thing about going to the studio is you want to walk in there feeling like you know I'm, I'm putting all this into my own hands i'm controlling this thing right here you know i'm i'm, I'm overseeing i'm overseeing the recording process because i'm recording but i'm also overseeing the post-production progress process i'm sitting over the the engineer and I'm, I'm seeing what he's doing and i'm asking what is that what are you doing i'm asking what's that sound right there that's how you become a a more complete artist you know that's how you use the studio to your advantage you know don't just go in there blindly uh, just trying to record a song and then come out and you know you know, you, you, you're not getting the most out of that when, you know, there's so much you can learn, so much you can take in if you just open your eyes, if you just open your ears, and if you ask questions, man. And also, last but not least, don't forget to get your files. Don't forget to get your session files. Get all of that. Bring a flash drive, whatever you can, to the studio. So whatever you do, they give it to you. Because a lot of times, typically, what... what uh engineers would do is they'll just give you the mp3 and, and and be gone with it they won't give you the you know the whole files the session files and that stuff you really need just in case you want to take your stuff somewhere else and get it mixed and mastered or just in case you know that song blows up they don't have ownership of those masters you know what i'm saying it's, it can be a very sketchy thing but that's pretty much it on uh studio etiquette uh Anything else I uh, I come across, or anything else that I forgot, now I'll, I'll make another video for it. But um, I appreciate y'all, man. I holler at y'all. Peace.